This is the seventh of the series of www.survivingmold.com discussions. Richie Shoemaker, MD, will discuss the incredibly exciting field of genomics and mold illness. I'm holding a tube that's filled with a special kind of liquid. This is the PAX, PAX gene blood RNA tube. When whole blood is drawn from an individual's vein and placed in this tube, it can be inverted a total of 10 times and kept at room temperature for approximately four to five hours to develop. What develop means is that we can stop the breakdown of RNA and microRNA that everyone has with this special additive. What that means then is that if we want to save this tube, which we can, frozen, we can look to see what is happening with genomic activation and genomic suppression in a given person at a given point in time. As we learn more about different aspects of the chronic inflammatory response syndrome that will cause differential gene activation, we will be coming closer and closer to the ideal finding of a cure. We know, for example, that the unusual coagulase negative staphs in the deep parts of the nose have genomic effects. We know that there is a distinctive fingerprint found in patients with CRS who are diagnosed at baseline. We can use that fingerprint to follow sequential benefits of treatment over time. We know that vasoactive intestinal polypeptide shows remarkable improvement in a whole series of gene activations. What this advance means for patients is that the days of guessing and treating by the seat of the pants functionally are over. While the PAX gene analysis right now is for research use only, we encourage physicians to have a supply of PAX gene mRNA tubes found uh, in multiple sources present in their offices and that a tube should be drawn on every person with every time that they have a blood analysis done. What this repository at PAX gene tubes will give us is sequential understanding of diagnosis and treatment step by step. The genomic era beginning in 2001 and 2002 has been one of incredible excitement. Uh, what it has shown us is that the old ideas about DNA and RNA and protein transcription from ribosomes and the protein missed a huge step. That step is microRNA and regulation of microRNA, conversely attacking microRNA through antagomeres, is the first step in differential gene activation treatment with medications that are on the doorstep. This is an exciting time to be involved in genomics of inflammatory response syndrome.